Hey, what's up, team? This is Eddie Gray back at it again. Today, we're going to be talking about control surfaces. How can I map a rotary knob, any kind of slider, a note on and off message to one of my many MIDI controllers? That's what we're covering today. Before we get into the source material, I just want to throw this out there. We will be having an extended training on this very topic. So if it does interest you, go ahead and check out the link in the description below. All right, a couple of key things to know before we get started. There are two ways to input and create this kind of data. On the left-hand side, we have the key command window, key command option K, and we are able to not only learn keyboard modifier key commands, such as like, you know, command R or shift command R, but we can also learn assignments. And so if you have, let's say, a rotary knob such as this one, we can go ahead and assign a plug-in parameter. If you have a note on and off message, I can have record be set, let's say, to this button here. And so the possibilities are limitless. On the right-hand side, we have a very specific window that was designed to help us with controller assignments. You can find that up on Logic Pro Control Surfaces Controller Assignments window. I have this set to Shift Option K. Now why this is important is because this is where you're going to find the majority of your assignments. So you can see I've already set up a couple of assignments in advance. For example, if I open up an EQ, automatically without having to map anything beforehand, look at what happens. As soon as I turn this dial, I can control my low cut. And as soon as I turn this rotary knob, I'm controlling the high cut. How did I do that? Well, there was a little bit of prep work. Let me show you what I mean. Inside the controller assignment window, I went ahead and assigned these very controls as a script embedded in logic inside of what's called my control surface file. And every single time I open logic, I now know that when I have a channel strip and I instantiate an EQ, doesn't matter which one it is, I'll open up a new EQ for this track, for example. And at the turn of a dial, we're controlling these parameters. So how did I do that? Now, in order to really pull this off and make it work, I want to show you what I've done with the rest of my setup. You can see send one through send six have been aptly assigned to one, two, three, four, five, six of these specific rotary knobs. The left and the right are assigned to high cut and low cut. And then this one here is assigned to a feature called automation quick access which we can cover later. So for now, bus one will always be assigned to this rotary knob, bus two to this one, three, four, five, and six. And so if you go into the channel strip here, doesn't matter if I choose bus one, if I choose bus 21, because it is the second instance or the third in this case, I can control the first bus with this knob, the second bus with that knob, and then the third with this one. Now, one of the things I love about this controller assignment window is that when I do actually turn the dial, you can see the assignment that it is currently connected to. So if I turn automation quick access, you can see that it has in fact learned this specific parameter. And so it's really clear to be able to navigate so long as you update the material. For example, you can see here I have it set to high cut. I had to label it this way so that I know that this assignment is specifically designed for a high cut or a low cut. I want to show you the controller assignment workflow. Let's say we're pretty keen on mapping the panoramic knob to a rotary knob. It could be a slider as well, bear in mind. So what I'm going to do here is take you to another MIDI controller, okay? And I'm gonna assign this first one to that specific mapping parameter. All right, let me show you this workflow. I want you to open up the controller assignment window. Okay, once it's open, 
you can point out that we are not in learn mode. So I'm going to click on the parameter that I would like to assign, in this case a pan knob. I'm going to hit Command L, but I'm not going to let go of the Command key. And as I'm holding the Command key, what I'm going to do here is turn this specific rotary knob. So you can see that we have achieved our goal here, which is to assign this specific rotary knob to that assignment. And then I'll let go of Command and look at what happens here. We're out of learn mode. If you don't go about it this way, you can probably step on your own toes by creating two or more assignments, and it can get rather complicated. I find that to be the cleanest workflow of them all. If I then click on the controller assignment window and turn the knob once more, let's go ahead and read the information inside the controller assignment window. It says here that this is a learned parameter, all right? inside of a channel strip of the selected track. The input message is inside of this interface, and this is the value change. Now we can play with the values as well, but that's a little bit more advanced for right now. So I'm controlling pan with this knob. And then now if I move to another track, let's say five, I can also control pan with the same knob. Now we're not necessarily overriding any information because this is channel strip specific. So this is where I want you to start. You can either design a template where you have all of these faders assigned to various sliders. That's up to you. You can have various plugins controlling various parameters inside of your DAW. Sky's the limit again. I want to hear about your progress and how you're setting up your system. If you want to learn more about my setup and how I set up both of these controllers within my template, go ahead and check out the link in the description below. We are covering control surfaces at length. I wanted to thank you for the opportunity to serve you at the highest level. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for hitting the notification bell. Thank you for donations and all of the support. Wishing you guys the best. Remember to go ahead and sign up for our 10 free logic courses. Again, you can check that out. Link in the description below. We are changing the game when it comes to understanding logic, and we have you to thank for it. Have a great day. Have a great week, and I'll catch you on the next one. Get high,